Good morning, crew. This is Ms. Polito, and I have a very special book to share with you today. It's called Alma and How She Got Her Name. I'm really excited to read it with you today. And while we're reading the book, I want us to think about who are the characters, who are the people in the book, and what can we learn from the pictures, or what do we notice from the pictures. I hope you enjoy. Alma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Neal. And it's a Caldecott honor book, which means it won an award for being a very special book. Let's find out why. Alma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Neal. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy, it never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. What do we notice in this picture? I notice Alma and her dad. There's a little bird there, too, and lots of books. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books and poetry and jasmine flowers and, of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. And I think that is Sophia's grandmother. She has a book in her hand, and I noticed that beautiful tree is also right there. I love flowers and books, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but she never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Whenever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. What do you notice in this picture? I notice lots of little things that look like they come from all over. And even though she never got to go there herself. The world is so big, Dad. I want to see it. You and me together. I am Esperanza. It says, status unidos. Oh, I see Tanzania, Nepal, Indonesia. I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountain and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. Oh, I noticed that bird is there. What else do you notice in this picture? I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. What do you notice in this picture? I noticed that this says caballo and it's a horse for caballo, conejo, zorro, llama. Oop, and I see that little bird from before. Have you spotted it when I haven't noticed it? Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors were always with us, watching over us when you were born. She tied a red string to your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Oop. Do you notice that she has the red string on? Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what is right. Escucha. Piensa, 
denuncia, denuncia. What do you notice in this picture? I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose Pura Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I'm Alma and I have a story to tell. Alma, mi historia. And then there's also a note from Juana, who's the author. Let's read that too. My name is Juana Carlotta Martinez Pizarro. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose my name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle Carlos. My father was a man of decisions, so when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlotta on the birth certificate. He was convinced Juana Carlita was a mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to the change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, when I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day where I come from. Oh, and then we have some questions that the author wants us to think about. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? I hope you enjoyed this story. I think it's a really special one. Now, I said at the beginning, I wanted us to think about who are the characters, who are the people in the story. Do you remember? The first character, I think we have a big clue right on the cover. First character is Alma. And then she was talking to one character throughout the story, but I can't quite remember. So let's open the book, use our resources to find out. So I see, oh, maybe this is one of our characters too. We have that little bird who's in it a lot. Oh, I remember now. Alma's dad is one of the characters. So we have Alma, we have her father, what is the last character? Oh, there's lots of characters. Let's keep looking. We have Alma's family. And we're gonna learn a new word that we can use to describe her family. It's called ancestors. Alma's ancestors are all the people who came before her. It's how she got her names, except for Alma, which was just for her. So some of the ancestors were her grandmother, Sophia, her great-grandmother, Esperanza, her grandfather, Jose, her great-aunt, Pura, and then her other grandmother, Candela. So they were also characters in the books. So uh, the characters in Alma and how she got her name are Alma, Alma's father, and Alma's ancestors. I hope you enjoyed this book and that you can think about why your name is special and where your name came from. I know it made me think about my name. All right, have a great day crew and we hope to see you soon.